All righty, folks, it is that time again. It is when we get to look back over the last seven days and see what you all put in the comments, the spicy, the helpful, the inquisitive. And of course, we need to welcome Millennial Mike, who actually does all the hard work. He does this, I don't. Uh, so we all get to thank him. Mike, thank you so much for doing this. No, thank you. Yeah, people love this segment. Not only do we react to comments and questions, but we take video suggestions from the audience, and those are very popular as well. Uh, we had a Ken McElroy video that did really well last week people liked. Uh, but this week, we have some great topics. Uh, we have topics like the market's really competitive. What do I do? Um, Section 8 questions. You talked a lot about Section 8 with Brian Adamson this week. Another one that people are always curious about, how to find seller financing deals. So there's a lot of good topics in today's video. Uh, and we're going to start with the market is so competitive. This one's from Regan Hillebrett. Hopefully I said that right. He says, mm -hmm. I want to shop for real estate, but it's proving to be very difficult. It's worse than COVID days out there. I love the days of 60 houses in one town to go shopping. Right now we have four houses available in our town and only 40 houses in our entire county. It's nearly impossible. I need a rental property dopamine hit, don't mm -hmm. we all? And we have made 10 offers in the last six months, but we can't win the bids, especially when we're fighting against owner-occupied buyers. Mike, any advice? Yeah. So first off, acknowledge that you know real estate investing, especially when you do the work like we do, is, is, is always hard. Why is it hard? It's because we only want positive cash flow. We don't gamble. We only do good or great deals, right? So just by being better and having standards, it's, it's always hard. I will admit today being probably harder than most, right? I've been doing this 23 years. You know, we're we're in the top five for hardest year. So I will acknowledge that. That said, uh, it's time to get creative, right? So continue doing what you're doing. I'm glad you know your numbers and your stats. Awesome. Uh, but now let's grow your network. Uh, one of the things that I see a lot of folks, and again, I don't know this individual at all, but I've, I've had this query enough is they're relying on the MLS. They're relying on agents. And it's time to do what I say, right? I have seven steps, one, one rental at a time, and one of them is meet two new people a week. Well, go meet two new people a week, tell everybody your buy box, get off your computer and go to meetups. Uh, your ability to get deals done today and in a market that is as tough as he says uh, is probably going to come off market. And that's that's just the truth. And again, off-market deals are generally speaking always amazing. Um, but you got to do the work. If if they don't know you exist and they don't know your buy box, whose fault is that? Uh, it's not the wholesalers; it's yours. Uh, also, reach out to two agents a week. Tell them your buy box. You never know when an agent gets a listing that they're like, "Hey, my seller wants to sell, but they don't want to put it on because it's a little dirty and they don't want to clean or whatever." Be the right answer. Be that person. So, generally speaking. Uh, congratulations for doing the work. Congratulations for knowing the numbers. Uh, but you got more to do would be my general thought. Yeah. And we're going to talk a little bit about networking later and how to find those seller financing deals. So if you didn't like the answer to that question, or if you want more context, wait, we're going to get there later in this video. 